Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be ranking my top six non-tinted mineral sunscreens. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below because all that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more content. I normally gravitate towards tinted mineral sunscreens because the non-tinted version tend to have a white cast on my skin tone. But when I do wear a non-tinted chemical sunscreen, these are the things that I look for. The first thing is that it has, it has a very minimal white cast. The second thing is that it has to be water resistant because I sweat a lot. So when I wear a water resistant sunscreen, it stays on my skin a lot longer. And the third thing is that this sunscreen has a lightweight silky texture because with that the sunscreen will lay a lot better underneath a foundation and number four the sunscreen also contains an enticing skincare ingredient that make me want to use the sunscreen for that reason too and number five would be the packaging if the packaging is convenient portable small i'm willing to carry that in my purse so i can reapply the sunscreen throughout the day so all that being said some of the following sunscreens will meet some of those criteria for me so coming up is going to be my moro debasco sunscreen this sunscreen is very lightweight and it has that silky texture so when i wear the sunscreen i put foundation on top my foundation looks flawless the sunscreen has the least white cast on my skin out of all the sunscreens i'm going to talk about today and this is how the sunscreen looks like it is very liquidy and very silky and the sunscreen has zinc oxide and it's spf 30. The sunscreen also blends really well and absorbs really fast into my skin. The only thing is that this sunscreen is not water resistant. The finish is not too oily and not too matte and it doesn't peels and layers really well underneath my foundations. So this is the sunscreen that I use now underneath my foundations. This is my nudie stick foundation. I would just add a little bit on. And every single foundations I have tried over this sunscreen, it layers really well. Coming up at number 5 is going to be my Copperstone Pure and Simple Baby Sunscreen. This sunscreen is water resistant for 80 minutes. It has 100% zinc oxide and the packaging is very convenient for me to carry this around. So I use this sunscreen a lot. And this is how the sunscreen looks like. Now this sunscreen has a little bit of a white cast. But the texture is very creamy. And it also blends really well onto the skin. And it absorbs really fast as well. But I really enjoy using this sunscreen because the sunscreen is not too oily for oily skin. I also keep it in my purse or in my car whenever I need to reapply and if this is around, I will use this to reapply. Coming up at number 4 is going to be my Dermatone Mineral Sunscreen. This sunscreen is also water resistant for 80 minutes and it's SPF 50. It also has 100% zinc oxide in here and this is how the sunscreen looks like. It is very, very similar to my um, Pure and Simple Baby Sunscreen. This sunscreen is also very creamy and it also blends really well and absorbs fast. Now the white cast of this sunscreen is not as prominent as the Pure and Simple Sunscreen. And the finish is also not too oily and not too matte as well.
This sunscreen is a little bit sticky compared to the Pure and Simple Baby Sunscreen, but I absolutely love the packaging as well. It is as slim as the Pure and Simple Baby Sunscreen. So I love carrying this sunscreen around, and I also use the sunscreen to reapply my sunscreens throughout the day as well. Coming up at number 3, it is going to be my MD Solar Sciences Kids Sunstick here. This sunscreen is SPF 40, water resistant for 40 minutes, but this sunscreen has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And this is how the sunscreen looks like. Now this sunscreen has less of a white cast than the Copperstone sunscreen. I think the white cast is pretty similar to the Dermatone sunscreen here. It also blends really well, absorbs really fast, and the texture is very creamy, just like the um, Copperstone Pure and Simple Sunscreen. The finish of this sunscreen is a little bit more oily than the Copperstone and the Dermatone sunscreen. So if you have drier skin, you may enjoy this sunscreen better, but I absolutely love the packaging of this sunscreen. It is so adorable. And it's something that I use to apply for Brian just because the packaging is very cute. He likes it as well and he would use this to apply sunscreen on his face. And so this sunscreen also lives in my purse or in my car and I use this sunscreen to reapply as well. Coming up at number 2, it's going to be my Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Sunscreen Stick. This sunscreen is SPF 50 and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. It has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and vitamin E in here and the vitamin E is the antioxidant in this sunscreen and antioxidants are there to scavenge all the free radicals in your skin and the free radicals can cause skin damages and free radicals are generated once your skin is kind of exposed to sunlight so I love that this sunscreen has vitamin E in here and this is how it looks like it looks white just like the other two sunscreens but it's definitely a sheer sunscreen compared to the um, MB Solar Sciences and also the Copper Stone. This sunscreen is almost as sheer as the Mario sunscreen. This sunscreen is silky in texture. This sunscreen is creamy in texture. And also the set of sunscreen is on the oily side. It is definitely more oily than the Copper Stone, Dermatone and the MD Solar Sciences sunscreen and definitely a lot more than the Morrow sunscreen. But as you can see here, it's pretty, pretty sheer. It also blends really, really well, absorbs really, really fast. If you have dry skin, you definitely would enjoy this sunscreen a lot more than me. I also like how slim this packaging is. It's very, very similar to the Copper Stone and the Dermatone sunscreen. So it's very convenient to carry around and to reapply the sunscreen throughout the day. Coming up at number one is going to be my Isin sunscreen. The sunscreen is SPF 50 plus. It's water resistant for 40 minutes and it has 100% zinc oxide in here. And the one thing I absolutely love about this sunscreen is that it has a patent DNA repair zones. And this DNA repair zones are there to repair all the skin damages that's already happening on your skin. The sunscreen was actually recommended to my friend by her dermatologist and the sunscreen has that very silky texture and it blends really well absorbs really fast sunscreen is lightweight but it's definitely a little bit more heavy than the Mario sunscreen and also the white cast is pretty prominent with this sunscreen and the finish is a little bit more oily than the Cetaphil sunscreen 
if the DNA repair zone is enticing to you and you don't mind a bit of a white cast and also your skin is drier then you would enjoy this sunscreen even though this sunscreen is a little bit oily for me and has a little bit of white cast on my skin but I still use this sunscreen because I really like that um, DNA repair zone in this sunscreen the sunscreen also has a tinted version which I have just ordered and it's on the way I'm definitely going to use that sunscreen and do a review but if you haven't tried any of the sunscreens I've mentioned in this video definitely check them out and um, let me know what is your favorite non tinted mineral sunscreen because I would love to try them out otherwise thank you so much for watching give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always I will see you on the next time bye